is a Tech This Out exclusive. Yup, yup, yup. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. I'm EJ the DJ. This is Get Smart Radio. Check this out. You know how we do, man. I got a special, special, special guest. Special guest from the other side of the world. You know it's Black History Month, so it's only right. I had to do it the right way. And bring us somebody that I'm, I'm excited to meet, somebody to talk to. Somebody from South Africa. Shout out, man. Shout out. Thank you. Thank you for having me on the show. Yeah, name is NK. Everybody calls me NK. Uh, but I'm well known as Nguli down in South Africa, of course. Um, yeah. Thanks for having me on the show, man. Appreciate it. Thank you for taking the time out to talk with us here. Check this out. Get Smart Radio. I'm easy to DJ. I'm, I'm excited. So we want to talk about your business. Uh, explain what, what your business is. Okay, so I run a record label okay. down in South Africa, Johannesburg, right? Um, the record label is called Maestro Records. So it's instead of the traditional M-A-E-S-T-R-O Maestro, it's M-I hyphen S-T-R-O Maestro Records. So it's all about um, basically pushing the youth mainly. Um, by youth, I mean everybody from the ages between 16 all the way to 22. Okay. All right. So our focus is just literally um, bridging the up and coming over to the commercial. Um, yeah, like that's that's what we're all about. And um, it's obviously also for just pushing um, artists from a legal point of view, backing them up. And, you know, just fighting for justice on their part, you know, because you know how the game can get rough as well. Yeah, definitely. So when you say fighting for a legal part, what do you mean by that? Because I know in the, in the U.S. we have like yeah. copyright laws. We have um, different different stuff like publishing. What do you mean by laws? What do you fight for? Yeah, so on on now and we've realized the gap is that when uh, when artists join record labels, they always feel like record labels are always like these doggy dog type, you know, like they they cut throats and whatnot, you know. So what we focus on is partnering with artists as opposed to having them, you know, you know, come across as if they're working for the label type of thing, you know. Um, our approach to you know signing artists is not the traditional way of you know doing 360 deals and you know having artists get into something they can't get themselves out of so instead we we partner up with them and yeah it's almost like a joint partnership like management with a bit of you know the investment but it's more on a project basis so we guide them through the process of just understanding the music laws and understanding just general um, music practice on the business end of things. Because most artists, are, you know, they just focus purely on just the talent, you know, the creative side of things. So, yeah, we, we encourage them to, you know, get into the business end of things and, you know, understand how it actually works and what it takes to get to the top, you know. How how hard so, is yeah. that? How hard is that? Because you say you're dealing with 16 to 22 year olds. How hard is that mm-hmm. to, to really help somebody that don't know the business to break it down to them and then them listen to you and make the right decisions? Mm-hmm. To be honest, uh, based on past experience, it's actually much easier working with the younger ones versus uh, someone who's been in the game and thought, okay, I've actually, I know what I'm doing type of thing, you know? Um, Because then they fresh out of school most of the time. So all they know is pretty much their talent, their, you know, the creative works, but they don't actually know what goes on in the business. So it's easy to take a fresh mind <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. You need to take a fresh mind and, you know, like sort of train them in terms of approach, how to how to manage themselves, firstly, and also how to, you know, get around and navigate around contacts, building, you know, like when, when someone has actually worked hard and building something, they know the value and understand the value. So it's better to teach someone at that level 
how to actually get around and do the, you know the the groundwork versus you know having someone who's been experienced in the game you know yeah it's 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 always better that way got you so h- how is the music scene in Johannesburg because we because you're in South Africa right now so how's the music scene mm-hmm Okay, so um, should I start with hip hop, or do you want me to cover everything? Because we're mainly just hip hop. Like our label is hip hop. Okay, I want to talk about hip hop mm. and a little bit of Afro beats because I know that's really popular right now. But let's talk about hip hop mm. first and get to Afro beats. Okay, cool. So from a hip hop perspective, um, it's been growing uh, gradually. At that, it's not like a, it's not the main genre right now in, in South Africa, but. Uh, what I can say is that the culture has been growing. So it's been cultivated by you know, all these OGs that have brought it all the way from obviously the States, um, bringing it this side. So your your big names in South Africa would be like your Casper, Casper Nyovest, it would be AKA Ricky Rick. So they've been like sort of keeping that culture alive. And um, right now it's becoming really, really big. It's becoming massive, especially in the youth space. Um, and it's also quite cool that you know we've integrated a bit of our own mother tongue into it so yeah it's got a jiggy vibe to it uh, it's also got a bit of influence from an older genre called Guaito. Um yeah so it's it's quite interesting and when in, you, in terms you, of when you, I'm sorry that's the cut you uh-huh. off when you say mother tongue what, what exactly is that? Mm-hmm. Okay, so there's um, 11 different languages in South Africa, right? Okay. Uh, that's for different tribes, like different groups. Like, for instance, you'd find Zulu people, you'd find the Tswana people, Kosa people, you know. Um, yeah, of course, English is like the universal language that we all know. Um, there's also Afrikaans. There's just a couple of languages. And in the hip hop space you can actually integrate any of those languages and that's what's been happening you know to the genre it evolving locally because it, it came in as a concept from the states it was pure english but now we're starting to own it as our own thing you know integrating our own languages so people can relate even better you know mm. i didn't i didn't, I didn't yeah. know you had 11 languages i didn't know that i know it was a, a broad <laughs> dialect but i didn't know it was 11. yeah <laughs> it is 11 it's quite a lot now there's like additional ones like colloquial languages almost you know slang slang vibe okay. yeah so people are creating languages almost every day now how many how many do you speak <laughs> um jeez <laughs> I probably speak like I probably speak let me say four okay that's and good yeah four, four not, out of not very not yeah, four out of eleven is not bad, you know. Um, <laughs> but it's not always fluent, of course, with some of them. Uh, but English, of course, uh, Zulu is my home language. Okay. Tswana is a language I understand, speak a little bit of. Um, yeah, and Afrikaans is one of those languages we learned at school. Okay, great. So yeah, yeah, man. No, that's that's fantastic. So let's talk about twenty twenty, right? How has technology mm-hmm. changed your life in the music industry? Um, yo, I could say that it's actually been very, very, um, both positive and negative, right? Okay. Um, on the, on the positive end, right? It would be, well, let me start with the negative. The negative end is that, um, instant gratification. That's something that everybody's now, you know, after. And, um, music doesn't have the longevity it used to have. Okay. You know, um, when, yeah, I mean, when people release music today, in the next week, they're already on to the next hot thing, you know. Um, so it's it's not really like, you know, um, helpful for the music itself. However, in terms of reach on the positive end, um, yeah, I'd say that music has expanded, you know, our, uh, our horizons and platform. You know, now the world is our platform, literally, whereas it used to be just, you know, um, limited to your locals if not radio stations it would be just a local store you know um but now yeah it's broadened the horizons we can actually work you know um with with guys overseas as well across the world so it's made collaboration much easier and it's also just made you know um let me say marketing much broader as well 
So yeah, well, that that's the positive end of you know having technology on our side. What's what's some technology that you use right now? What what's some effective ways to get your music from South Africa to the world? Mm-hmm. What's some social sites that you use or technology that you use right now? Okay, from a social media perspective, it's usually um, your Instagram, your Facebook, Twitter, um, and then uh, looking at obviously YouTube. YouTube is a worldwide platform that allows everybody to view no matter where in the world you are. Okay. Um, yeah, that's been also in use um, from a distribution point of view. I mean, there's so many distributors now online that, you know, dis- distribute music all around the, across the world, you know depending on the deals they have of course with their partners but yeah like an example would be your distro kid for instance um yeah they they distribute music all across the world depending of course on the markets that you have yeah i hear a lot about i hear a lot about distro kid is that actually a good a good platform for people to distribute distribute their music honestly i'd say if, if you're an independent um, artist, it makes your life easier, you know, okay. it, it chops off that admin element of things because you've got like somebody out there, you know, you just have to really just give them what they need which is literally just a pack of whatever, like say for instance, your artwork, your music a couple of lyrics here and there um, they just take care of everything for you, you know, um, I think it works for, for an indie um, of course, if you're with a label, that sort of thing, you've got um, broader and better options, of course, you know. Um, if you're with a major, it's even better for you because they, they pretty much link to everybody. Okay. So I, yeah. so let's talk about YouTube, right? How hard is, is mm-hmm. the, how hard is the market on YouTube to the world? Because I know you have your African, your African sound out in South Africa, mm-hmm. but how do you get your YouTube videos to the world? Because I know if, you, if you're doing good in your region, that's one thing. But how do you get your video mm. to like places like in America, places in Asia, places in Russia? How, how do you get your music, the, the arts that you work with, out to the world mm. using YouTube? How do you do that? Mm, I think it's really number one relationships. You do need relationships across, you know, the world, whether it be through the digital platforms and all that. Um, you do need to have um, some form of hold outside of the outside of your country um obviously um there's the option of paying for your for your uh, marketing to be done on certain demographics and whatnot but that's obviously not the most organic way or approach you know to getting your music across because you're you're literally just you know you, you're firing but you don't know you know who's going to actually land on your on your content so it's always better when you've got you know authentic relationships um what i've seen is that uh lately there's a lot of um people that do reactions like youtubers that do reactions um those are people that usually introduce let's say for instance an american uh youtuber would introduce uh, americans to african music by doing reactions to african music so it kind of adds value to them you know um yeah, it's it's usually it's usually just relationships that get you as far as you need to. Got you, got you, got you. So let, let's. Mm-hmm. Is there any artists that you want to work with outside of Africa? No, definitely. There's there's quite a lot actually. <laughs> there's quite a lot, especially in the hip hop space. Okay. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say um, if I had to look at up and coming. Um, geez, there's <laughs> there's a whole list. I wouldn't call them up and coming, but yeah, they've been in the game like Jaden Smith. Because okay. I'm looking at you know um, artists on the same level of you know thinking in terms of music. Um, I would say the artists that I have would work with those kind of artists like Jaden Smith. Um, would definitely be keen to work with um, what's it, ASAP Rocky, okay. for instance. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when you look at the type of sound we're making, yeah, definitely, it would correlate with those kind of acts. Can you paint that picture mm. for somebody that never been to Africa before? Can you paint that picture for them to say, like, all right, when you go to South Africa, what can you expect, music wise? Mm. No, it's funny that you asked me that question because um, there's an, a friend of mine from America. 
um, actually worked with Def Jam as well. He pulled up the side and I asked him, what's the one thing that stood out for you about South Africa, right? What makes South Africa, South Africa, according to you and your experience? And he told me um, everywhere he goes, he's seen people dance. So whether it be at a restaurant, the waiter would be dancing while they're serving them, whether it be in the streets when you're driving around, there would be people dancing, that sort of thing, you know? Okay. So I think um, it's, I'm, I'm not even thinking, it's definite that music is life for us. Okay. Um, and rhythm is the most important thing, actually, because pretty much every person you'll meet has rhythm somehow to them. And yeah, drums make our music our music. That's, that's dope So so you would say It's more feel good music in Africa Yes yes I, I believe The most popular music You'll ever find Isn't introspective per se it, It's it's not As opposed to hip hop Hip hop is more You know conscious More introspective um, With With our music South African music It's all about What can actually get you moving What, what gets people dancing That's what's going to be Playing on the radio 24-7 That's what's going to be Jumping you know so yeah definitely it's all about feel good music got you so is, is there any trap music out there i'm sorry come again is there any trap music like hardcore gangster music do they do they rap about gangster stuff going on in south africa yeah definitely i mean there's it's not very popular per se it's got its niche market um okay. however there is definitely like storytellers at that level you know on on that um, you know, uh, you could call it the hood in your case. Okay. Um, yeah, that that hood music is definitely there. You know, um, from the back in the days when Guaito came through. You know, Guaito is a genre that we formulated after you know the apartheid era, just to allow like freedom of speech for like black people that sort of thing. Um, so that also like set the pathway for you know for acts to create music for the hood strictly so that's definitely there even translated into hip hop it's definitely there I like that you said that how important is freedom mm. of speech right now in the music business it's actually the voice of everything at this moment to be honest it's imperative like there's nothing more important than music to get your message across right now you know even when people are upset in the country about something uh, a protest it's always going to boil down to music you know <laughs> So yeah, music is, is like a voice for everyone and it's a universal language at that. So yeah, definitely works. Definitely, definitely, definitely loving it right now. So is mm. is, is you have five artists. What's the mm -hmm. first artist that you rolling with right now? What's the first artist you running with? Okay, so the one I'm running with right now, um, she's nineteen years old. Her name is Indigo Stella. Okay. Um yeah, she's she's very versatile. She does hip hop on a conscious level she does that trap sound and she also does a bit of R&B as well so yeah that's that's the the main one that's now buzzing you know getting cosigns from all the big acts around the country okay and how did you find her um funny enough i i actually used to manage another artist who was quite young and that artist collaborated with her and um, only to find that artist had another deal with another label and I had to let him go. But then I just had like a feeling about this girl and I was like, yo, this girl actually can go further, you know? So I took her on board. I found her through social media, SoundCloud. That's dope. And yeah. how, how effective is SoundCloud music right now? Because I know, I know, we, we we talked about Facebook, we talked about Instagram, but how effective mm -hmm. is SoundCloud? Okay, so SoundCloud right now is it's almost like its own little culture of like these up and coming kids, like we call them the internet kids, and I think it's a global thing now. Um, these guys pretty much make music for the fun of it, put it up, and numbers just keep growing. You know, that's that's actually a very good platform for them to sort of put themselves out there. Um, and I think SoundCloud has played a big, big role for just a new generation that's actually up and coming to, you know, to the commercial scene to be seen. 
So yeah, um, obviously with her, she's one of the examples that we we could use. And I've also got another duo who also got popular from just SoundCloud, just making music for fun. So it 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 really is a platform for for the kids, and it's affordable. They don't have to, you know, pay anything. It's just a free streaming platform. Oh, that's that's great. So how, how was how was the DJs out there in the independent market? Do the DJs in South Africa support? the up and coming market do they support easier or how does it work because I know in New York City it's kind of hard to get a lot of the DJs to support new acts unless the act is like really popular how was how was it out there and in, in where you at um well I won't lie it, it used to be very very tough um um, I think DJs also had challenges of their own just working with big acts because, you know, when you when you work with big acts, they're not always going to pull up at your shows, you know, like when you have to perform as a DJ, they're not always going to be there because they always got like busy schedules and stuff. So, um, you know, the DJ has started warming up to like your up and coming artists and bringing them on board because, you know, they can always give them a call and say, I'm performing at that show, pull up, you know let's do something so yeah they've opened up they've opened up a lot more to the new and they're receiving them quite well as well on the outside and I'm, I'm, ex- I'm excited to see what's going mm-hmm. on and I got I got some artists too to play I'm gonna get that on tonight mm-hmm. too let y'all hear with my man NK got in store with his artists and you know shout out, um, <laughs> shout out to you let everybody know where they can find you at Oh, you can definitely find us on social media. Um, Instagram, it's at Maestro Records. That's M-I-S-T-R-O Maestro Records, one word. Um, Same thing on Twitter, same thing on Facebook. We also got a website, um, www.maestrorecords.com. That's M-I-S-T-R-O Records.com. That's where you can find us. Yup, yup, you know what it is, man. I'm E.J. the DJ. Just check this out. Get Smart Radio. You heard it first. You heard it first. Exclusive, my boy NK, representing South Africa, man. Keep it locked in tune. We got some more coming up. Yes. Shout out, man. Thank you. Thanks for having me on the show. Nah, thank, thank you. We're going to keep you locked in tune. We got some more artists we're going to play. We're going to keep it locked and loaded. Let's go. Yup, 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 yup. You know what it is. You know what it is. Hey. I'm against it. <laughs> Check it out, check it out. The homie right now, MK. I can catch this no is the artist right here. I just touch and go. I can't catch no smoke. I like I this. I can't Jim and I made you. Money on the floor. Straight from South Africa, right? I mean, to the DJ, I'm going to get it all for you. Get smoke radio, check this out. You know how we do. What's up with you? I can't catch no smoke. From South Africa to NYC. I can't catch no smoke. Johannesburg to be exact. Do the talking such Roll to the money Watch me hit the double clutch Top floor, I don't even smoke that ay. Pop pills, I don't feel that much Laugh the kills, I don't smile that much Pass the bill, watch me swipe that much Yeah, I've been living for my money, yeah Stand on love yeah. Million rockin' past the study, bruh. Call like Jesse for the money, yeah. Now we bought to set this party, yeah. Pause. Whoa. Uh, you ain't know what it is, Watch baby. Me move the hey, you want me back, baby, but it's me too. Late. I've been in my zone. 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 I've been in Yeah. I can't catch those smoke. I've been on the road. I can't catch 
shows for what it is we having a good yeah. time, right? I'm gonna go to some music for a little while, you quick fashion, so hurry, let's go. In the go, Stella, what's up? Look, you say you I like this right here, too. I didn't think you'd you know ever have to lie to me. I see you know how you we do so what's up with you. You were for me. All I ask you is to try to find me. I got to get cash to the job. I got to Just so I can feel myself yeah. alive again. Yeah. Yeah. You were so committed by my side of me. I just wish you'd take a minute and try to fight for me. Fight for me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You said, you said, mm-hmm. you said, you said. Mm-hmm. I drop dead when my brain stay on you. Lovely, lovey, dovey ain't a thing, but I'll make it for you. Couldn't afford to get me nothing great like the cheesy kids, but that was not a thing. I was straight. You were paying me with the way you was. Say you good. Make me proud. Yeah, I just want to hear that you've been doing well. On my phone. Yeah. Is that new song right here? You know how we do people. What's up with you? I gave you my number for a reason. Because I miss it's you when we have. I'm sorry. Right here. When it's someone friend, different what's in what's my mind. For me, I'm lonely. So me I left this in the huh? past. But the memories that you wrote me. It's really a pity. We grew up before you really got to me. I'm just really cool. 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 I'm just my blood, the only people that I roll with. Don't think I make mistakes, but I know some it's things no I never had to go. say. But I did left me broken, and I saw it. Yeah. Maestro Records, oh boy, I see y'all. You y'all making it do what it do, huh? You say, you say. Shout out to you rocking with us tonight. You say, you say. Just a little side for me. Here we go. I didn't think you'd ever have to lie to me. La, la, la. You were so committed, you would Shout die for me. Shout out to the homies on Arizona on the check, you know. I'm California, what up? I got to the castle okay. like the high. Just so I can feel myself alive again. You were so committed by my side of me. I just wish you'd take a minute to try to fight for me. Fight for me, yeah. This ain't new right here. People telling friends, let's see what I'm doing here. You say, 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 you my boy AK, we got some dope artists from all over the world. So we do, man, South Africa to New York City. Shout out to me, rocking with us, hey, young people. Hey, I miss home, though it's hard to come through. I'll be off of work and then some things I can't choose. God, I can't believe I'm making time for issues that I'm dealing with in the urban. My homie's telling me, how about a trip to the dorms? Honestly, I see more to it. Family vegetation, the nature with most of it. Hugs and the kisses from all my grannies are wishing well. Washing the dishes with all my cousins I kick it with. And they don't understand how it feels. It ain't just the city lights, the fabric, like and the right opportunities here, people. What's up with Responsibilities, I take risks. Fighting for my worth with that fist. Nobody really cares in the city. You on your own. Either you get stabbed in the back and played like a song. My cousin said he packing and moving straight to the zone. He said he wanna follow my lead. I'm living alone. I guess I became too comfortable, man. I'm here to make it. You know how we do, people's only right. Fresh. Hey, 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 it's that get set. It's that get smart radio, right? That's what I'm doing here. I'm breaking new artists. I'm breaking new music. I'm in the US. What about South African boys? Joannesburg, what's up? Baba Bam, Seba Sap, Kelly Tol, Matita, Ricky Rick, Siguchan, I know Sibangan, Yeboya, Asifan, Pega when you are funny, Pega mean, I'm stunning, I'm just close, I'm just smelling in, my finesse, I'm like a rose, I know it's concrete, I chose, Steve, 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 Please take your cool call. Here we go. Look in the mirror, see the truth. That was my name called Benny Chill. You know what we do, people? Hey, African boy, me not get fresh. That's what I'm getting, boy. Let's go. Hey, let's go. Hey, let's go. This girl with Stella. Go, boss up. Boss up, let's go. Name, name in the past months. Let's do it. Get more radio. Check this out. You know what we do, California, New York City. How we do it? Do the most with the hate, yeah, yeah. Keep it to the finger, name it. 
I've been grinding way before the fame. Yeah. And now I'm like the film, so I don't aim. Yeah. My mom's got a problem with the rap thing. My pop's feeling guilty because he sang, man. Let's go, you know what it is. We want me to the DJ. Some dude last year told me off because he wanted bucks from me. Now we still be trying to ring me. How does Nick still be trying to ring me? A little quick mini mix. Still be trying to ring me. Maestro Red Nick. People take advantage of me. SK, what it do? Ghoulie, what's up, yo? What's up, nigga? What's up? I only rock up the cost of. I'm in New York City, but these guys from Africa, you know what it is, man. Joe Hensburg, what's up with you? I'm lame in the past months. Now she doing big things. I'll be out here real soon, huh? I'm going to stand for the beat because I walked up, yo. I had a boss up, nigga. What's up? I only rock up. The cost up, the nick too soft, got a top Tell up. Tell the friends what I'm doing you. over here, people. In your name, name in the past. Shout out to my homies in Maryland, Virginia Beach. What's up, though? I see y'all in the check in. See if you stand for the B because I walked up. Whoa, whoa, Ohio, what up, yo? Mother flipping gang, and everything's nice when you're not the one that people flipping up. Hey, I had a boss up. Check this out, America. We connect the streets. 